So we're going to have a look at the crop flow now. And if we look at the animation here, we can see the material coming up off the feeder house into that new threshing system. We'll have a look at the threshing drum now. The increase, remember that 755 millimeter threshing drum on the machine, that bigger increase in size. The new secondary separator. You can see again, looking at that crop flow, really smooth crop flow of the back of the threshing drum in there and then onto the walkers. So we're looking at that side of it. Remember now, big 600 millimeters in diameter. At the front of the machine, we have the APS still, so accelerated pre-separation. If we're looking underneath, we have our preparation floor, but we're looking at our threshing area of the machine. It's on what we're looking at on the arrows here. Closer look, we can see the first concave, the APS concave, but then on the bridge into the main concave, we have what we call the pivoting concave bar. That can be pivoted in and out depending on crop conditions. So really fine tuning and setting up for different scenarios if you need to thresh harder for example. If we're looking at the main concave again we have more control over there as well. We have different flaps that we can adjust but you can also see the pivoting concave bar there that's removed out so it's smooth and then you can also engage it there. At the front the yellow part that's the deawning plates so again adapting for different conditions really fine tuning the machine. We have a second deawning plate on the main concave itself the new concave flap which can be operated hydraulically in and out. Again, adapting for those changing conditions. So we can control the amount of area in and out from the cabin as well. Underneath you can see our preparation floor. That's been extended to about 150 millimeters. Looking at the concave itself, it opens and closes all synchronized from the front to the rear. At the rear, this new concave here can be also opened up slightly if the conditions allow for it. So if you've got really dry straw, for example, you want to protect the straw, you can open it up so it's less aggressive on it. But in damp conditions, we can also tighten it up as well. So having more control over that straw. You can see the new walkers, they're 3.8 meters long. And the rear beater just throws the material up onto the walker. Open designed walker like previously, and all the material returning on a return pan to the front of the machine to go through the cleaning system.